Hello everyone. So let's discuss the second problem of today's weekly contest: count collisions on a road. So there are n cars uh, on an in an infinitely long road, and we are given the directions in which these cars are traveling. Either they are traveling to their left or to the right, or they are stable. They are not traveling. They are not moving at all. Now. there the collisions there can be collisions so the collision points is defined as when two cars is moving in opposite direction then number of collisions is 2 when a car collides with a stationary car it means number of collisions is 1 so we need just need to find out the total number of collisions that will happen on the road so for example let's say this is the state of the car first car is traveling towards its right second one to the left third to the right the fourth one is stable and fifth and sixth both are moving towards the left one thing to note here is the cars are traveling with the same speed so it is not possible that two cars overtake each other and then collide so now first one is going to the right so it will go to the right now second one is going to the left it is coming here so they will collide somewhere and number of collisions will increase by 2 because they fall in the first category so second one it is going to the right uh it is stable so it will collide with this car and number of collision will increase by 1 similarly it is going to the left so it will collide with this car number of collision increased by 1 now because of this collision this car will be stable and now this car which is moving towards the left will collide with this car and number of collision will increase by 1 because it is colliding with a stable car so total number of collision in this case is 5 now how to solve this so we just need to make some observations so let's say there is a car which is moving towards the right okay now what are the possible scenarios wherein this car will collide so either there is a stationary car somewhere in the front or there is a car which is moving towards the left now let's say uh, before hitting a stationary or a stationary car or a car moving towards its left we get some more cars which are moving towards the right now let's say we uh, get all this x cars which are moving towards the right now when there is a stationary car so number of collision will be like this car will first collide with the stationary car and number of collision will increase by 1 then this car will become stationary this car will collide with the stationary car number of collision will increase by 1 similarly this car will become stationary now now this car will collide with the stationary car number of collision will again increase by 1 so total number of collisions when x number of cars going towards the right collide with a stationary car is equals to x okay now after this all of these cars will be stationary okay so this is the first case second is when this car collide with a car which is moving towards the left so then the first collision between this car and this car will give us two collisions now when this car becomes stationary now the situation is again similar so all this remaining car will give us uh one one collisions so total uh if r collides like if series of r collides with a stationary car number of collisions is x if a series of r collides with a car going towards the left direction number of collisions is uh 2 plus x minus 1 so basically first car will give us two collision and rest x minus 1 car will give one collision each now having said that like this is the case where we have lots of r uh, in place now what will happen if we have else a uh, lot of l in the uh, in front so they all are moving towards the left so they can collide with the car which is stationary they can't collide with the car which is uh, moving towards the right because we have already handled the case so for all the cars which is moving towards the left they will again uh, give us total x number of collisions 
because uh, when this car collides with this car, it will give one collision. This car collides with this car, it will give one collision, and so on and so forth. So this is the overall solution. So just to reiterate, what we have done is we have uh, assumed that we have only Rs in the front, and then we have figured out the number of collisions uh, with series of R and after that, if we hit L, what will be the number of collision? If we hit S, what will be the number of collision? And then if there is no R, if there is a series of Ls, then only thing that can happen is there should be some S before S or this is a first L. If this is a first L, we can't do much because let's say this is there are like five, six cars which are moving towards the left and then there is one car moving towards the right. So these all cars we can safely skip. So we will skip until we hit R. After we hit R, this is the case, like this two case will apply. And after this, whatever L we encounter, whatever extra L we encounter, for all of this, there will be a stationary card in the front and we they will contribute one to the collision. So let's take the same example and try to verify uh, the solution. So this car is like, we will first uh, skip all the L's in the front. So there is no L in the front, so we will not skip anything. Now there is one R, so total number of R is one. Now we hit L. So number of car, number of collision is two plus X minus one. X here is one, so number of collision is plus two. Now we hit again R, so R is again one. We hit S, number of collision is X, which is R is one, so number of collision will be one. Now we hit L. So for this L, we already said that there should be some S in the front because uh, we have, like all the previous cars have been stationary. So it will contribute one to the answer. So number of collision increases by one. Now there's another L, again, same condition. There should be some stationary car before this car. So number of collision will increase by one. So total number of collision is five. So hope the solution is clear. Just let's look at the code quickly. So as discussed, uh, if there is R, we will increment just the right uh, variable. If we hit a stable car, uh, we increment the answer with right. Basically, this is the first case plus equals to X. The second case where this is uh, right is greater than zero. Uh, in that case, uh, we increment the answer by two plus right minus one. It is nothing but X plus one. And uh, after we hit L, uh, if there are stable cars in the front, we will increment the answer. So basically here I am not, uh, ex like I am not uh, escaping the previous else. So that's why uh, this if condition is there. So if I am checking whether there's a stable car in the front or not, if there is no stable car, and I will not increment the answer. So basically this will skip the uh, all the else in the front. So hope the solution is clear. Uh, if there's any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.